Gunsmoke fan hits the target. From the newspaper, The Tennessee in June 26, 1966. As a Los Angeles high school student, Roger Ewing was a Gunsmoke fan. I watched every Saturday night, he said, but golly, I never thought that seven years later I'd be on the show. Why, I didn't even have any ideas about being an actor. 22-year-old Roger joined the cast of CBS TV's Gunsmoke last season as Thad Greenwood and the role has been coming on stronger ever since. For Roger Ewing Gunsmoke fan turned Gunsmoke actor, this is doubly ironic. I've never mentioned this before, but in my senior year at high school our class staged a variety show, the topper of which was a satire on Gunsmoke. The smallest boy in the class was cast as Matt Dillon and I played Chester. It turned out to be a riot. I was so nervous that I changed legs limping and even dropped the coffee pot. The slowness with which the character of Thad has emerged on Gunsmoke has been just dandy with Roger, who says he can't pin down any one thing which turned him to acting after a year in college and a series of odd jobs including lifeguard. The role, he said, wasn't much at first because I couldn't do too much. Now I think the strength of the role has been my growth as an actor. He was introduced to the cast after the departure of Burt Reynolds. There was a chance of becoming a regular, he was told, but nothing was definite. They left the door open in my first show, Roger laughed. I came to Dodge City from Oklahoma and the plot had me making a good impression on Matt Dillon. But the dialogue didn't give me much encouragement. One line had Matt saying, I like you, boy, and I may need some help around here for a month or two. Bit roles on a half a dozen TV shows and two movies were Roger's only credits before Gunsmoke. I was always being cast as a gangling misfit who looked tall and dumb. A couple roles were shocking, I was so bad. In one of those movies, Ensign Pulver, all I had to do was stick a beer bottle into a duck's mouth. Well, it was another riot. The duck's wings were flapping and my knees were shaking. Now, thanks to Ginsmoke his knees no longer tremble.